So Martin, you've got the fight you wanted. World title fight in February against Jared Fletcher. How's that sound to you? Yeah, I've just obviously made up to be fighting for a world title. Um, a fight that was going to be on neutral territory. So, you know, I should get a fair crack at whip, so looking forward to it. You've had two opportunities before to win world titles. Is this a case of third time lucky? Um, no, I wouldn't so much say third time luck. I'd say more like third time right. You know, um, there's, there's not going to be anything lucky about it. I'm going to train um, just like I always do, train hard and go in there and get the job done on, on February 1st. And, you know, it's going to feel nice when I get my hands on that world title. As well as getting your hands on the world title, how will it feel to bring one back here to St Helens? Yeah, it's it's always been a massive inspiration and motivation for me. Um, I represent my town wherever I go and, you know, to bring a world title back here and create a bit of history, being the only world champion from St Helens, it'll be nice, so I'm looking forward to it. Jared Fletcher, he's got a good amateur pedigree, as you said earlier, he's, he beat James De as an amateur, but have you had a chance to have a look at him as yet? No, I've not, I've not, I've not seen I've not seen much of him yet, to be honest with you, but that doesn't mean that I'm overlooking him. I don't, I don't usually look that much into my opponents. I leave it all up to Oliver. But, um, I, you know, we start watching him more now as the weeks go on and we'll uh, come up with the right game plan of uh, going over going over Monaco and uh, getting the job done and just, be, just, just beat him. It, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking at it like it's going to be an easy fight because it's not. Um, he's got a good pedigree. Um, I am the favourite going into this fight, but he's going to be well up for it. It's a massive chance for him, and you know I won't be taking him lightly. When he had that loss to Billy Joe Saunders last year, but it was kind of a very quick stoppage. Do you think that that's maybe kind of um, making people think the wrong thing about this fight? No, uh, well, yeah, because I think that's the only loss in his career, and that, I've not seen the fight, so I can't comment on it. But I was told that he got caught and and. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders pounced all over him and panting and he got stopped. Um, so, I mean, it's boxing, anybody can get caught. I won't be going into that fight thinking, well, he did that to him, I should do it. That's not how boxing works. Um, you know, like I've said, he's going to be well up for it. And, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to be taking it very serious. I mean, like you said, a lot of people could be looking at thinking, thinking that. But that, that that's the way it's happened, in it? And, you know, if they want to look at it like that, then that's the way they look at it, but they're not going in the ring fighting him. It's easier looking at something and saying that, but it's different when you're actually in there and you're training for it. So I'm going to be training hard for it, and you know, like I said, I won't be taking him easy. How about 30 minutes after your fight on February the first? Um, Gennady Golovkin's going to be getting in the ring. Obviously, he's given this title up to give you the opportunity. Not wanting to look beyond this fight, but is that a possible um, he's opportunity? Not, he's not give it up and giving the opportunity. The WBA's. Elevated him and ordered me to fight uh, Jared Fletcher. Um, yeah, I mean, I've seen Golovkin fight. I mean, I won't be able to watch him anyway, so I won't get to watch him live. So, I mean, I think it's good that they've actually got us both on the bill. He's one of the best middleweights in the world. I'm one of the best middleweights in the world. Um, there's a fight, there's a chance that we could fight next year, just like there's a chance I could fight with all the other top middleweights next year. So, um, you know, I won't be going into this fight thinking. I'm fighting on his bill and he's fighting on it. I've got my own fight to focus on and that's what I'll do. Now, a couple of weeks ago, an old enemy of yours, shall we say, Felix Sturm, won a world title against Darren Barker. Yeah. You got a draw last time, a little bit controversial. Do you think that's another possible fight for next year? Again, like I've just said, there's, you know, there's, there's some big fights there for me next year with them type of fighters, regardless of who it is. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's a fight I'd love. I'd love a rematch with Sturm. And, I mean, I don't know Well, he's got the rematch that he's got to honour with Barker, but I don't know what the situation is with him and whether he's retiring or not. Poxon just said then that they've got to wait for see how his hip is. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know what his plans are, um, if he can't have the rematch with Barker, but hopefully by then I'll be um, WBA world champion and he'll be the IBF, so it makes it make, the fight makes sense anyway, but I think it makes even more sense if it was unification, so that's definitely a fight I'm looking forward to next year. Do you think a rematch with Martinez is possible, or is that out of the picture now? I think that's gone, to be honest with you. Um, I think they took that fight, expected me to be a ball over. Um, it's not what they expected, they give them all kinds of troubles, and I just think that that was that. Was that. They just thought, well, I will leave that. Um, yeah, so I mean, he's not even mentioned my name once. Louis de Bella said to me immediately after the fight in the ring, you know, you're not giving a rematch. And 
you know, that's the way it is. There's uh, going to be no rematch of them, I don't think. Um, so he's not even on my radar. Felix Sturm is. Um, Felix, Felix Sturm always was, to be honest with you. There's always been a realistic chance I could have a rematch with him. And like I said, the fact that he's won IBF now, it, it makes it even more more realistic. So um, if it was out the two, the two blemishes on my record, I think the one with Sturm makes more sense. Excellent. Well, good luck on February 1st. Cheers, mate. Top man.